And so now we're going to look at doing some uh, operations uh, which involve transforming point features into like a bounding geometry. So like a, 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 a convex hull, concave hull, so on and so forth. All right, so there's a couple of different options for this. Um, let's go over here to the search and search for concave hull. Okay, so we see two options there under vector geometry toolbox. So uh, Kaner's neighbor and then concave hull alpha shapes. So we're gonna do this alpha shapes one. So what we wanna do is um, create a concave hull and we'll do that from this, uh, let's see here, points out object. This uh, threshold has to do with how um, con concave the features can be, so or angles can be. So if it's one, it's basically not allowing concave angles. So you would get back a convex hull. If it were zero, then it's going to allow a lot of convex con, con, uh, <laughs> uh, concavity. So um, what I'm going to do is just set to like 0.7. And it's pretty much all we'd have to do. So let's hit run. And here we go. So we have this bounding geometry. And note that there are concave angles here because it's a, a concave hull as opposed to uh, uh, the convex hull. Um, if we ran this tool with a setting of one, you're basically going to get back a concave or a whoop. Um, I should have put some points in there. Um, you'd actually get back the the convex hull, so with no concave angles, as you can see here. Again, it's basically like stretching a rubber band around the margin points. There's also as uh, you can also do this with its own with its own tool. So convex hull is designed to work for point features that are all stored as one object, so like multi-point feature. So that's really not going to work in this case. So what we want to use is this minimum bounding geometry. Um, so again, there's a diff couple different options here. We'll grab our points again. Um, you can do it stratified based on a field. We won't do that. We're just going to use like all the points collectively. There's a couple different. You can create um, rectangle bounding areas, circular bounding areas, or a convex hull. So I'm just going to grab convex hull there, and we'll run that. And we basically get the same output we got with that other tool. So There's another way to do it. Um, so again, no concave angles there. And just to show you another bounding or another geometry option, I'm just going to grab the enclo minimum enclosing circle and run that. So that's the smallest circle that would uh, capture all of those points. Let me move the points up here. Okay, so that's some examples of like basically point to uh, polygon conversion based on like bounding geometries and specifically concave and convex halls.